Welcome to the Janome Studio. My name is Ann Hine, and today we're going to talk about Create Floral. It's one of the fills that you can find in Artistic Digitizer. I have a couple samples of it here. In um, my sample here of my little mini quilt, the these two teapots have the floral fill in it, the Create Floral. Um, a couple other things are in this piece too, and I'm going to point them out now. I'll be doing some other videos, so we'll be able to cover those at that time. In this teapot, I used what's called the array fill uh, with, a, with a flower in it. And then the teapot up here has the different decorative stitches that are in the program. It's a great way to use some of those decorative stitches. And in the borders, I took a graphic of a teacup and I turned it into a quilting stitch. So I was able to quilt all the way around the border of my little mini quilt with teacups. And I resized them for this border side so you could make them in there a little bit tinier. This is also a bit of um, floral fill in my teapot over here. You can see here, this is a tea cozy. So you can put it over your teapot uh, to keep it warm when you're making your tea. And then back here, my love jacket, I took letters and I applied the procedure inside the letter. So I could um, put my floral fill in each of my different letters here. And then on this one here with the bees in it, you can actually bring in a graphic of your own, a design of your own, and add it into the Create Floral. So besides the florals, the butterflies, the leaves, and the flowers, you can bring in a design and make it more personal to what you want to do. So we'll cover this in the video. So why don't we get started? With your software open, we'll go ahead and create our shapes for our Create Floral. Create Floral can fill just about any shape that you make. I filled that teapot shape and I also filled the letter shapes. So we're gonna do the letter shapes. So I went to text and I typed in here the word I wanted and I found my uh, font in here. If you click in here and then use your um, scroll wheel, you can see the uh, different fonts come through on your, on your word, so it's easy to find what you want. And um, I'm gonna use the one down here. Let's see, let me stop here and go to find it because it's just up one. And once I get it there, I'm gonna hit my selection key to turn off my lettering. I'll select this and then I'm just going to drag um, the corner to make it big enough to fit. I want the L to fit in this one part of my hoop and then I will uh, break it apart and put all the other letters in. So I think that's pretty good for the L. I just need to right click on this now and do break apart. And then each of my letters are single letters now. I can move them anywhere in the hoop area to work with them just like that. There we go. There's other ways to resize too, but I like that. To me, that works very quickly. I'm going to select my letter and I'm going to go in my colors and I'm going to select the um, an outline and a solid color uh, for the vine to take when I convert it. So with it selected, up here you go to convert. At the bottom is create floral. And then you can pick any of these uh, flowers that are on this side, and you can pick any of the leaf on the other side. So let's see, we're gonna try this one here, and I'll use this leaf here, and I'm gonna hit OK, and it'll just populate right into there. So we'll scroll in a little bit so you can see it. Now once it's in there, in your properties, you have some controls and things that you can change and play with. So you're welcome to go through and work with those different tools. Each time you use one tool, it affects everything. So make one change and um, go back and forth. One of the things I like to play with though is the Stitch Flow tool. So Stitch Flow is located over here. We've used it in other areas too to direct your stitches and things like that. So it's directing the stem. So if I put a little line over here like this. The stem is going to go over to there and then from here I can move it around. I can stretch it, bring it up, maybe stretch it. Ooh, I kind of like that. Stretch it a little more so I can play with it a little bit there till I get it right where I want it. And then once I have it where I want it, just hit select and you're done. I can keep the outline or take it away. On the jacket, I took it away 
and I thought it worked very well but if you want to keep it and you want to change from a straight stitch around there come over here to properties and outline running is selected you can come in here and select stitches and then you can pick whatever stitch you like that you think would look good on the edge of your letter so let's see I'm gonna try let's I had one before let's let's look at this one here and I'm gonna change um, the outline width to 0 0.20 just to make it a little bit bigger and there we go makes a nice pretty little edge on there and of course you can make changes to that if you don't like that stitch come in here and pick another one maybe you like this one better and you can make all different kinds of changes to it you can even do a satin stitch edge if you want to do that you can go and do that with all of your letters and to fill them in and then just stitch them out now the other thing you can do is you can make embroidered fabric you can go ahead and um, make a big shape in here like that and I'm actually gonna select this and make it fit in the hoop there we go all right um, and then you can change the color out if you want I'm gonna go with that green again come up here to convert create floral and then you can pick your flower or down here there's a bird and there's a butterfly uh, maybe I'll do the butterfly and this leaf right here and do okay and it'll populate into there it's a bigger design it takes a little bit longer but now you could stitch this out and use this um, for fabric for a zipper pouch or if you wanted to make a pocket on something you could do it like that so you have this nice embroidered fabric again you can move your vine from the bottom if you want it somewhere else um, just come in here many times I just do a little one across the middle here to bring the vine to the center and from there I can get different looks um, if I wanted to change this at all the last thing you can do um, besides all the changes you can make in your properties is you can change out either the um, leaf or the butterfly for another shape so if you go up here to tools clip art library insert clip art you'll have all your clip art in here and I'm gonna put in a flower and there's a lot of flowers you can choose from you can scroll through here and see which one you like best I'm gonna pick this one today and these are the type you can see I have a little crosshair these are the type that you have to click and drag to get um, working once they're there I'm gonna select all of this and I could do control a or click and drag I can right click on it go to array and add shape as flower give it a moment it'll change out the butterfly and put in your little flower that you chose so now you have a great piece of uh, em embroidered fabric that you can use uh, for a lot of many different things so I hope you like create floral let us know what you think if you have computer issues you can always contact tech support our email is there or if you have software issues or questions you can always contact me directly I'm Ann Hine and my email address is there also have fun creating